Action. Hi, I'm Mike Herchistia, Olean Machine, Klamath Falls, Oregon. <clears throat> I'm talking about the new Kenyan style power hammers that Mike Lim and I made. We worked together and built two of them at the same time. It's kind of easier that way. He gets one and I get one. This one's mine. <clears throat> it's a leaf spring new style Kenyan hammer. Uses a 3x12 hydraulic cylinder that we run on air <clears throat> with the use of an auxiliary oiler. <clears throat> um, the leaf spring transmits the semi-diagonal power of the ram into a straight up and down power of the head. It does it quite efficiently. I'd like to thank you to Mr. Kenyon for inventing this. And also thank you to Keen Randall and John Emmerling for coming up with this style of head. Uh, Keen came up with the two pieces of two inch round stock guided by bronze bushings inside of a head. <clears throat> it works quite well. Uh, it's very efficient. It's super smooth. There's very little run out at the bottom of the stroke. <clears throat> the two inch round stock is held together with two one inch socket head cap screws on both ends. This end you see I put little felt pin arrows in case the screws start to back out. Uh, I'll know that they're in a different spot. I can tighten them up. <clears throat> Inside the upper tuck, it's bored out to receive the head of the cap screw. And we did that pretty precise so that when we smash everything together, the heads are actually contained by a thousandths or two. And I can't see how they're going to back out inside the head because there's nowhere for them to go. <clears throat> Some of the evolutions we did on our power hammers is we use the uh, 1 by 8 inch flat bar laminate lower anvil. <clears throat> There's almost a whole stick, 20 foot stick in here, so it's about 490 pounds of bottom anvil. Uh, <clears throat> we did an 8 hole pattern with 3 quarter inch alloy all thread to keep any harmonic whip out of it, keep it contained. <clears throat> and you'll notice that this very front piece has abbreviated a small amount. That is so that we can have a close presentation to the anvil when making stuff like faceted balls. Uh, you need to be able to get right up like that in order to make uh, your ball and by cutting this piece down, we've got a real nice angle here. <clears throat> Another evolution we made is this hammer runs by a ball valve down here on the bottom. When you exhaust air from that, it tells <clears throat> the magic five-way valve to make the hammer go up and down. Now, I ran it real hard yesterday <clears throat> And I started to bend the little tab on the handle of the original ball valve because that was taking the brunt when I let off of it. So what I did this morning is I just tapped in a piece of square stock into the base so that when I let off the treadle, it hits this piece of square stock rather than the handle of the ball valve taking the load. This hammer is running right now about 200 beats per minute. That's just fine for me. Um, and it's got about a 100 pound head, maybe a little more depending on what die you put on it. Okay, we'll fire up the forge and make a piece. <clears throat> 